Hello, this is a demonstration on how to delete the bin and gen folder from a Project 3 Eclipse subversive plugin once it's been committed to the repository. So let's do this with an Android application. So let me build a new Android application here. And I'll just accept the defaults. Good enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit this to a repository. So I right click on the project and I go down to Team and then Share Project. And we'll see here on the left, it's already got a bin and a gen folder. Now the problem is, is that, let me go back here for a sec, the bin and the gen folder is not what you want to commit. These are going to have all of the compiled files um, when the project is built, and every member of your team is going to be generating different files for each time they build and make a change. You can't merge these very effectively, amongst other things. So we're just going to say, look, we don't want any of this going in. We don't want to delete it every time. So we're just going to tell it not to be an SVN. I'm going to do this in a few steps though. First, I'm going to check into SVN. I've already got a repository configured here for testing. And I'm going to check the whole thing in. Now, this screen is slightly deceptive. It seems like you can, let's say initial commit, it seems like I can go through here and select certain things and say, for example, on this I want to ignore. I've tried that, it doesn't seem to work effectively, so let's just leave it as it is, forget about it for the moment, and it'll check the whole thing into the repository. Now in a couple of simple steps we can get rid of all that uh, extra content that's being checked in now. We do have things like the Android libs and jar files, uh, all part of the project, the project settings and so forth, and that's reasonable to leave inside of uh, SVN. So now we can see that it's checked in here, we're at revision 11. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the uh, SVN repository browser. I've already got it open, but let me show you how to find it. I'll go into view, uh, window, show view, other, and then under SVN select the SVN repositories. OK, and I'll bring up the view. I like to have it here kind of beside my Project Explorer because it shows me the same sort of ideas. So I'm going to refresh. And now we can see here the Project Delete Bin Gen. I can expand it and see all the files here. Now it's this Bin and Gen folder that I don't want. So I'm going to select them, right click and say Delete. This is doing it directly on the repository, so via the server. So Delete Bin and Gen. So that was revision 12, and now we see that we've stepped up to revision 13. So I'm going to need to pull down the changes. So I right-click on my project, back in my Project Explorer, Team, and Update. This pulls down the changes, and now I'm up to 13. We see now here on the bin and the gen folders, there's a little icon on the folder with a question mark showing that it doesn't quite know the status of this. It doesn't know if it's going to be included or not. So now I'm going to commit the fact that I don't want these inside of the uh, repository. So I'm going to go to Team, and then Commit. And here are all the changes that it thinks it's found. Now here I can right click and say, SVN add to, or sorry, add to SVN ignore. And I'm going to add the bin. Do the same thing for Gen. SVN add to ignore. Now there's nothing left to commit, or so it looks. Basically, Subversive has already made the decision as to what's going to be committed, and it hasn't rescanned recursively my folder upon this. So I'm going to hit Cancel. I'm going to go back to Team, Commit, and now it's detected that, hey, the folder itself has actually changed. There's a file that stores, or there's a way it stores the uh, what is being ignored, and so now that we've actually got that information, I can commit it. So Ignore, Bin, and Gen. And so now we've told the server we're going to ignore these, and we no longer have them there to worry about. So if I were to go and create a new project on say, another computer, or sorry, a new workspace on another computer, download this from SVN, make any changes I like, it's not going to pull down, or it's not going to push back the bin and gen folders because now it's told to be ignored, and the projects uh, are going to respect that no matter which team member downloads that. Um, if you have to do this in the middle of a project and 
your team members have already got the um, bin and gen folders, what will happen is when they check out your update that you've made, their bin and gen folders will be deleted because that's what you told Subversive to do, that delete the, delete the bin and gen folders is a change, and then start ignoring them. There's no really good way where you can ignore and delete at the same time, so leave whatever's local, just don't use it as a check-in. Alright, that concludes this short tutorial. Thank you very much.